Hi YouTube. I uh, thought what I'd do in this video is um, talk about drawing a nose. In this case we're going to uh, we're going to go over drawing Leonardo's nose here. So let's get to it. Now, I, I went ahead and I just uh, printed off a uh, uh, reference photo here of uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. DiCaprio, hope I said that right. Uh, an American actor. And, um, you know, any reference photo is fine. And, and I, this was originally a color photograph online and I just converted it to black and white. Makes it easier for me to uh, draw you know the, ref, the whatever it is that I'm drawing with using a pencil. Now I want to focus on the nose for this particular video, and then I'm going to have a series of videos where I go from start to finish on where I, you know, sketch it and draw it and you know do the whole thing. But right now I'm just going to concentrate on the nose. Now the the thing is is you know I, I watch videos on YouTube that you know says how to draw a nose just like I titled this one because that seems to be what people search on or how to draw eye or how to draw an ear or how to draw a mouth or whatever you know it really doesn't matter whether you're drawing an ear or an eye or you know a mouth or whatever you, you just draw what you see um, why there has to be you know a specific how to draw a nose video is if you're going to draw a nose without a reference photo. In other words, if this wasn't here and all you had was this, then the question is, how do I draw a nose? Well, while I could probably remember how a nose looks, I don't draw from memory. I draw from what I actually see with my eyes. So if you happen to be drawing something that you are actually looking at, whether it's a, a living person or a living tree or, or a building or whatever that you can actually see, as opposed to drawing from memory, if you can see it, just draw what you see as opposed to having to specifically learn how do I draw a nose. Okay. So with that ranching aside, we're going to draw the nose. Well, that's not too complicated. If you draw what you see, I'm going to put this right here so I can see it. And I'm going to draw what I see. So I see, I'm going to go and, and draw this right here. So I'm going to kind of rough it out. Then I see it narrows down to there, so I'm going to narrow there just a little bit. Just give me some reference. And of course the other way you do this is to simply draw grids or whatever, which is what I'll do in the other videos. And uh, But I'm just going to kind of get an idea of where everything is here. And whatever I see, the basic shapes, you know, the, the round circles, the, the narrowness between here and here, pretty much. No, I'm not really looking to create uh, actual lines that, um, you know, hard lines. I just want um, an idea of where everything is. And when I'm drawing, whether I'm, it's going to be Leonardo here or... Um, any any other kind of nose or, or whatever, I am going to actually have it um, sketched from either using the grid method or trace method or or whatever you know whatever method uh, I feel feel like goofing around with you know, but. For just for the sake of this video here because it just how do I draw a nose um, 
So I'm just going to, what I'm doing is I'm just eyeballing. Everything's eyeballing. And just getting a sense of, you know, his nose, the shape of his nose. And then I start, I'll start shading it all in and, and then we're, we're good to go. So now I'm getting kind of the nostrils, you know, just get the nostrils part. And I don't, you probably can't see it. But uh, if, I, if I scoop up a little closer here, chances are that um, I'm not going to be able to have both the reference and the sketch in here. But I'm doing a very, I'm going very lightly here because uh, I need to get my bearings as to, you know, where everything is on the reference photo because I'm not, I'm not doing this with the grid method at the moment. I'm doing this eyeballing. I am eyeballing it and I'm just drawing what I what I'm seeing. If this is how I see his nose, I'm going to I'm going to draw his nose like this just for the sake of a quick, you know, give you a quick idea of drawing a nose. It's Okay. Well, there's his nose. Uh it's just a sketch, but that's his nose right there and I'll go and I'll scan up a little closer so you can see and all I'm doing is basically looking at okay you have this V shape here that's that V shape there and then I look at it and it kinda does this looping in here like so so I kinda looped it in like so get get a kind of a idea of the distance notice there's no line here but yet I have to have some kind of reference here so I just lightly drew that in but when you're when you're going to draw his nose, you're really not going to draw a line. You're just going to shade, and then you're going to go lighter, lighter here, and then you're going to go darker, darker here, and so forth. But you want to get a kind of an idea. You want to get a gauge. If you're not going to transfer this, you know, with transfer paper, or if you're not going to use the grid method, you're not going to measure anything. You know, you're you pretty much just eyeballing everything and just drawing what you think you see here. You know, and, and just kind of. Do it this way. Now, I'm going to pull out of this back a little bit so you can you can watch this a little bit. So as you can see here, it, he, it's dark right in this area here. This gives the form. So I'm going to start shading that dark area there. And I'll probably just stop in this part right here where his eyes are going to to come in. This is the darkest. Now this is the darkest area right here. That's the darkest area here and that's the darkest area here. So everything else is going to be lighter than that. So I'm going to go ahead and get these dark areas in real quick. And I'm going to use just one pencil. I'm using this Drewent Onyx Dark which really isn't that dark but that's a completely different video there. And then as I start to move away from that dark area, I'm going to start to take some pressure off my pencil here and I'm going to go lighter. Now you'll notice that the line starts to disappear because you do not want an actual defined line. You want the impression of 3D where you're going from an area of less light into an area of more light. And there's more light on the bridge of his nose than there is on the side. So as you can see, as I move up and over his nose there, I am lighting up on my shading. And we'll just keep going back and forth to refine that because as you add more graphite in the light areas, you'll notice the dark areas get lighter and you have to go back and darken that up a little bit. So I want to get that shaded area down in there and then it lightens up as it as it flattens out right here you gotta you gotta lighten up off your pencil pressure and then we'll just kind of really light there and I also like to notice how much of this dark shadow area so it's from here to here so I want to get a kind of an I you know get a, get as close to that as I can from here to here before I start to lighten up. You 
He's just getting some value down here for, for his skin. Not looking for perfection at this moment. Well, I'm not going to look for it at any moment, but details come later. You just want to get the main tone down here, and then we'll work on details. Okay, notice the angle here. This, this angle, the shape of the shadow area here. You want to make sure that you get that, and that's, that's what I got going right here. Comes straight down like this, and then it loops around here like so. And I'm doing the best I can eyeball. Everything's eyeballing here. Okay, then I notice that it gets lighter from this area. This is lighter here than here. This is lighter here than here. Okay, so you have three different tonal values here. You have to, you have to use your eyes and actually see that. So make sure you see all the transitions. So I want to kind of get that in here like this. And then this is lighter here. But we're only drawing a nose, so I'm not going to go too far away from drawing a nose here. And just get this darker value in here. Lighten it here. Okay, and your friend is also going to be the blender. Or in this case, I'll use a cotton swab. Now you notice here that defines the nose. It's not a line. It's just dark shadow. So I'm going to get that in there so I don't lose my reference here. And just kind of feather it out a little bit there because I'm not looking for a line I'm looking for shadow here okay it kind of gets a little more darker underneath here so I want to make sure I get that in there I don't normally hold my reference at the same time I'm drawing but I'm trying to keep everything in the camera here let me see if I can just lay this down for a second so I can I can get a little bit more um, into my drawing here. Okay, and then from this dark shadow area, you can see here, and I'm going to blend this out just a little bit so it's not so defined. Okay, it kind of goes, it goes from here, then it goes up into the light, so you have this rounding effect, it's shading up. So I have to get that, so I'm going to start shading up. And don't worry, if you, if you get a little carried away, you can always take some off with your eraser. Now, I've done none, none of that yet, but I will soon enough. But I want to get, get shaded up. And then as I get up here, I'm going to lighten my touch because we're getting to the top here where um, there's more light. Now, here, right here, you can see it's more shaded here than this highlighted area here. So I want to make sure that I I get that in here because that defines the shape of his nose. You draw what you see and what I have to be careful is if I'm going to draw this area here at this tonal value here and this is darker here, I gotta make sure this is darker than here. There's a reason I'm not doing this time lapse is because I, I want you to, you know, the thinking process behind all this, um, I think is very important that you just get an idea of what I'm thinking as I'm doing this. At least I hope you find it to be of value. You can let me know in the comments if you do or you don't. Now, no area on this reference except in the eye here and here should you leave the white of the paper. And so far I've left this, the white of the paper, so I'm going to blend the shade in there. So I'm going to give me a cotton tip real quick here. <coughs> okay. And I'm going to just I'm going to start blending some of this. 
get it all nice and smoothed out before I continue on. Now I can use this dark area here and blend it out to get the lighter tones around it just kind of moving the cotton swab away from it and then also as I go up the bridge of the nose which I already know is going to be lighter I could just start moving that up into the bridge of the nose and give it that shape that form that I want then of course when you blend you're going to lose some of that darkness there so some of that shadow you want to put it back and we'll just get that moving up into the light and remember that shape we don't want to lose that either and I've lost it a little bit here so I gotta come back Put that back in. And remember, so far I'm only using one pencil here because it's just I could just do this and just control the pressure that I'm that I'm doing on it. redefining the dark area underneath the nose again. Everything gets pretty dark down here. Make sure I get that. His nostrils of course are going to be very dark. So I'll try to get some of that in there real quick. If you see it, draw it. That's all I say. If you see it, draw it. If you don't see it, don't draw it. A lot of times what happens is that, especially beginners, um, beginning artists, is that they'll start to draw what, what they think should be somewhere, even though they don't see it. Like with a nose, you know, everybody has their own, you know, idea of what a nose looks like, and so they stop looking at the drawing, and they just start they just start drawing what they think, oh, it should be rounded here, I'm going to go ahead and round it here, because that's what, that's what a nose looks like to me. They'll do that with lips, they'll do that with a lot of things, and um, you should never do that. Okay, if you want to you wanna draw realistically, then you want to draw what you see, don't draw what you think. And what can help you in that regards, by the way, is to simply turn the photograph upside down, and now an upside nose, you're just going to draw what you see now because you don't normally look at a nose as being upside down. And so if you draw that, you're going to have much better success if you have this problem than if you draw something that is obviously a, a nose. Okay. And again, I'm going to smooth things out with the blending. I'm going to get that... Oops, I just marked up my paper because I just skipped. Uh, hopefully I can erase that. I may not be able to. Okay, now back to shading. And right here. I'm just drawing what I see. I didn't do a pre-sketch, so you know who knows what my accuracy is going to be without a pre-sketch. We 
which is what I normally will do if I want to, and what I'm going to do for my next videos when I show you how I draw this, because I'm actually going to draw him for my next realistic drawing. But um, for this for this particular video, I just going over how to draw a nose and and basically just draw what you see. Um, I'm not quite sure how else I could explain that. Just draw what you see. Okay, and as you get out of the shadow here, you start to blend up lighter and lighter and lighter. So I'm taking as much pressure as I can off this pencil tip as I get up to the top here. But I'm just, just trying to get this area right here to the best I can. And I'm going to shade that in here because I know that there's no light, there's no super highlights there. Okay, and this here, a little darker than the area right here, which is what it's supposed to be. Draw what you see, folks. Draw what you see. And I apologize for having to repeat that, but hopefully you'll hear it in your, in your mind uh, when you're drawing. You'll remind yourself, oh yeah, draw what you see, draw what you see. Don't don't draw what you think. Okay. And I see uh, I see a darkening here, so I'm kind of adding that in and looks like it's gonna take my little mark that I accidentally did when I my pencil skipped and it's gonna diffuse that. Yes, I'm just drawing exactly what I see, and it's really dark in here, and I have what I'm gonna have to do here because I'm using one pencil rather than all my arsenal of pencils so I'm actually going to just have to get in here and just draw it dark just like so because this area here um, of the nose is very very dark and then it comes out into the light and I don't want to lose I don't want to lose that but I have to diffuse it let me just diffuse that right there when I say diffuse, what I'm basically doing is I'm, I don't want anything to stand out as an actual line. You don't want any line. There's no lines in nature. It's, you know, 3D is everything. You, you go from one area of light to dark and dark to light. So we have a lot of shadow underneath here and get that in there. But usually the time to do that is when you come back for touch-ups. Let me get this in here like so more shadow it's got shadow here you can see the shadow goes all the way up to here like so so like that probably would have been better if I had sketched this whole thing out but I'm kind of roughing it now I already know I already know I got a little bit of a problem here my Scaling is a little off, but I'm just drawing what I see for right now. And as I come from the sh from the shadow area, the dark shadow area, and I'm going up to the point of the nose, I have to start to shade up and lighten as I go up. get this shadow area here going just kind of get it started and then I'll worry about the whole shaping part I can see the shadow part comes up to here so I'll just kind of mark that off a little bit and then it kind of bleeds into here somewhere so I just get that in there like so Don't expect perfection right off the bat. You have a lot of time to go back and forth. You know, take some out, put some in. See, it gets lighter here as it goes up. You have to notice the tonal differences. It goes dark, then a little bit lighter, then a little bit lighter, then really light. 
So you want to capture that in your pressure of your pencil. I'm going to go ahead and kind of get some of that blended in and, and around. Give it some, get some shape going here. I'm going to get some shape going. See, I'm going to go around the nose because that's the way I see his nose. So I'm going to go with what I see here. Right or wrong, it's what I see. It's what I'm going with. And uh, just kind of blending it up. And I see he kind of like that. So I'm going to to get that in there. Normally I wouldn't even rest my hand on the paper. Like I'm, I'm resting my hand on this paper. That's not good. You put a little piece of paper or something underneath your hand. But just for the sake of this training video, I'm kind of taking certain liberties. For one thing, I don't just use one pencil when I draw. I use multiple pencils. But I'm using only one pencil because you can draw anything with just one pencil. But if you're going to go for that realistic photorealism or whatever, of course, you're going to need to use all your tools. But I'm just demonstrating how to draw a nose. I'm not doing a whole photograph here, a whole portrait. So it kind of it's a little bit different. Okay. I'm going to get this part right here. And I'll just keep going back and forth, back and forth. As I see things, I'll just make make any kind of adjustment I can. So that's the way I see this here. And I see this going up a little more here. Okay, just I may be a little bit off on my scaling, but I didn't, like I said, I did not, um, I didn't have the benefit of of, um, I didn't measure anything, you know, use my thumb or my stick and, you know, do all this. I'm doing this all by eyesight. It's a good exercise. And, you know, you want to know how to draw a nose. This is how I would learn to draw a nose is I would just get a picture of one and, and draw the nose exactly as you see it. And then you will know, you will know that it has, you know, this loops down here, these lobes that you want to work on. You have the, the shading, uh, that needs to be done like right under here stuff like that comes out to here then it kind of lightens up so then I'll just kind of blend here okay like so and then it just as it goes up it goes lighter and lighter and lighter so I'll just kind of lighten my I'll lighten my pencil a little bit then I'll just use my cotton swabby here to kind of get the shape going you know blending really helps a lot in in getting diffusing lines and stuff where you don't you don't want lines and we don't have any other than right here around the very tip of his nose here there really isn't any shade you know any real highlights so I'm going to blend that some of that uh, graphite into that area here so that we kind of take out the where you just have the paper but I think you can see that as you do as you if you just draw what you see and and just focus on you know where the the tone changes from light to darker to lighter to darker if you just focus just on that alone and if you see it draw it don't question it don't say well that's not how I view a nose well it doesn't matter or oh you know what this doesn't stand out as much as I'd like it to even though the photograph shows it it's so it's just so much in the shade that you don't see the detail but you want to bring the detail out don't do it just draw what you you got it draw what you see 
you got to practice to draw exactly what you see. If you see if you see a darkened area, draw a darkened area. Don't make it lighter because you want it to stand out more. Don't take liberties like that. If you want to get better at drawing photorealism, you've got to draw exactly what the camera has seen because the camera becomes your eyes. You're using a photograph which was made by a camera or in real life if you're looking at someone who's got light, harsh light coming down on them, don't try to adjust for the harsh lighting by lighting it up on your drawing. Do something about the harsh lighting and then draw exactly what you see. If you don't like what you see, change what you see. Don't change it on the drawing itself. There are certain liberties you shouldn't take if you want your drawings to come out realistic. And see this area here I can tell needs to be really dark and I'm running up into the limitation of my pencil now that my pencil doesn't want to go see I'm gonna to have to like in here I'm gonna to have to like really press but what happens if you press with your pencil you get that glare and uh, see I see he's got this slant here and I and I need to get that in there because that's exactly what I see and it's really dark right here for his nostril and I think I see is really dark in there it's kinda of hard to tell with this photograph so I'm going to draw exactly what I see here and again I'm going to take my blender just blend things out of here because I had some graphite and I could sh I'll tell you something right off the bat here too is I'm going to have to get my eraser I have not used an eraser on this yet which is not common I usually use one quite a bit but I just wanted to kind of demonstrate this how to draw a realistic nose here and uh, what I need to do is I need to go get me an eraser okay so I have me a I have me here a kneaded eraser okay and so areas that I think need to be lightened up a little bit for example right around the nose here it's 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 lighter right here than that dark area but then I have it too dark here so I'm actually going to going to take some of that off like this and lighten it up and then it's it makes start making that nose pop a little bit because of the contrast between the values next to it okay so I've done that and then I have to redefine this area again I think you can see that starting to pop and then I want to lighten up as I go up the nose to there okay now it just really really is grabbing there and here I notice I need a little more definition here so I'm going to add a little more graphite to that area there because that's, that's how I see it apologize for that hum in the background but that's my air conditioner compressor outside kicking in um, we're dealing with very high temperatures this summer and we keep that thing running all night long okay so this area here is very very dark and I don't really have I'm not using a pencil that allows me to get too dark here unfortunately so you can probably tell the shadow is darker than what I've got here so I can't seem to get this any darker here. This is why you have different pencils that you use. Underneath the point of his nose is darker than the actual point of his nose so I need to get that in there 
still see this area right here this is all darker but I can't get it any darker with this pencil I can shade it all in but that's make any adjustments you need to make with your eraser adjust this area here and then I'm going to blend it just lighten it up as it diffuses out to the surrounding area it lightens up there okay anyway I think you can see how that nose is coming out and that's how basically you just draw from what you see now I'm going to show you something with contrast here I'm going to I'm going to move away from this this pencil which again it's it's just the onyx dark which really isn't a dark pencil it's 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 like an HB pencil it's not really that great but do you really want to make it pop you really need some dark pencils let me go get my 9xxb if I find this 9xxb that's kind of running away from me here okay well here it is. Okay, good. I thought I was losing it. Alright, here's my 9XXB pencil from Kimberly. Really great dark pencil. Now, here's what you can do. For example, you can just, uh, I'm tilting it because I'm right handed, so I just need to find those really dark areas and get those darkened in. Just exactly as you see it on the reference. And then lightly, lightly feather out so it's not so defined as you get out here to this area. Here's another area that could use a little bit of the 9x fb but not too much. That's this area right here. Not too much. Okay, otherwise you're gonna have to redo the whole drawing. I, don't really want to do that. This video is getting kind of long already. Okay, and then I'm going to come over here and darken this area in. Now because I pressed with that other graphite trying to get darker, it's a little slippery. But I am able to get some in there and then I'm going to get this area here darkened in because I couldn't do that with the other pencil. So now that I have this one, I can get in here a little bit and get that shading in really nice and dark because it's really dark here. As you can see that's all really dark Then it comes up to here. I want to get that in here, then blend it out here because I don't want any uh, I don't want any lines. It's hard to tell. I could hardly see it, but it does look like the nostril kind of ends around here somewhere, and then then it kind of comes out a dark shadow. It's a lot of dark shadow here and here. It's going to go up the side of this nose a little bit. See how a darker pencil is going to make this thing pop even more. I'm using the shadow areas. So I'm going to I'm going to lightly use it on the shadow areas here. I have to be careful though because if I do too much, I'm going to have to I'll end up having to go through the whole drawing and adjust the tonal value for everything because I got carried away and it's easy to get carried away especially when you're having fun and I'm I'm having a lot of fun right now just doing this for you guys and I, I hope you take something away from this video of use you know that, that's of use for you but again I don't normally draw without pre-sketching first and I didn't do any pre-sketching on this 
let's get that dark shadow in there because that really helps define the roundness of this nose here nostril I should say okay and then I'm going to take that q-tip okay I've lost my q-tip oh, that's good so hold on one second let me grab me another oh here it is on the floor great place for it on the floor okay you can see that I came up it's a little harsh right take your q-tip blend it out take some of that harshness the 9XXB could be a little bit harsh a little grainier look to it so you got to be careful with that but you want to blend that out as best you can diffuse any sharp lines that it might you know make and then just blend her up and here and we see I'm getting carried away already dark here I end up doing this whole whole drawing over let's get that blended into that right there if you want to you can you can go over all the dark areas with your 9x XB if you want but remember there's quite a bit of contrast between what you you know you using just the graphite pencil and using the 9XXB which has carbon in it you got to be careful because you're going to uh, you're going to end up changing a lot on the drawing itself but see you can you can start bringing things out with a darker pencil And what I want to do is I'm going to get my eraser here, and I'm going to I'm going to bring down some of this because I got a little carried away with my 9xxb. And you know when your eraser makes all these little dots and whatever, you can you can deal with that very simply with your blender and a little more graphite. I'm going to take that off. See, and I'm going to take this, I'm going to take this edge off here, smooth it out. Little racer dots, smooth that out. Give that a little more roundness there. And there we go. Now we're cooking with Crisco. And I notice here I need, I need to get a little darker there. So I've really darkened that area up quite a bit. I do need to take a little bit of that edge off there. All right, well, I think I've done enough on this because I'm about ready to do a whole portrait here. It's, I'm going to get a little carried away. But move your Q-tip around, shade in areas that are a little darker, take your eraser to lighten up areas. And before you know it, you've got yourself a nose that you can be proud of, practice. Well, there you go. That... That's pretty much it. Leonardo da Vinci, Di, DiCaprio, <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio's uh, rough draft nose. Okay, anyway, uh, I think I've kind of gone a little bit too much, kind of carried away on this little puppy here. And uh, if you like this lesson, want to see more, please give me a like, subscribe. That way uh, you'll uh, know when the other... Um, videos come out because I'm going to do a whole series on drawing this uh, in photorealistic uh, format. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you later.